It's a beautiful sunny morning. These trees are beginning to turn their autumn color. This is the sumac or staghorn, whatever you want to call it. Looks gorgeous. Now I've got to go into the woods and check on the yews. They're not on any of the grassy bits. So I now have to go and hunt them out in the woods and see where they are. So I can follow the paths they've now made in the undergrowth. Woo! My face is getting covered in cobwebs. Look at this, they've done a fantastic job of eating a lot of this bramble and creating a pathway in under the beech trees. This will look beautiful in the spring when the snow drops, bluebells and cow parsley all have different seasons. I've been planting wood anemone in here so that hopefully with time that'll become a carpet of wood anemone as well. So, so far no sheep. They're probably at the top part in the woods because it's got the highest elevation. That tends to be where the sheep like to be. So they can look out of the woods and see the view. So nothing in under there. Whoops, that's me stepping on a dried branch. There's lots of dried branches hanging about the place. Great kindling. That's a great bit of kindling. Okay, there's that fallen ash that we sliced up slightly. This pathway in the spring is full of snowdrops. Now, there they are. Hey girls. I knew they would be at the high ground. Sheep tend to be in the high ground. All snoozing under the trees. Having a lovely time. Hey girls. Yeah. You having a lovely time in the woods. Different kinds of foods. All different kinds of foods. They're browsing the lower branches. This gives a browse line. Looking good. Done a huge amount of clearing up, which is fantastic. Hey girls, how are you? Yeah, how are you? Big beautiful girl. Brindle, come back. Good girl. They all blend in. <laughs> this is fantastic. This helps the biodiversity of plant life in the woods. It also helps give a different kind of fertility in the woods, as well as it gives a um, different kind of microbial life, microbial life. Oh, look, it's been a lovely time scratching her back. <laughs> Anyway, it's done a good job of clearing up the floor so that this display of snowdrops, wood anemones, bluebells, cow parsley can have a better run so the ivy doesn't suppress, the ivy on the ground doesn't suppress the biodiversity. You can see there's still ivy climbing up some of the trees. That tree there is cloaked in ivy but it's just always looking to how to help increase the biodiversity and this is one of them isn't that right kitty yeah have you come for a stroll in the woods as well have you come for a stroll in the woods today 
Yes, kitty. Yes. Yeah. You beautiful kitty. Okay. Found the yos and they're doing well. I think I will leave that. I've got a tour group coming. Tour groups are another form of income for me. So always welcome by appointment. It's a shame this tree is leaning out so much. Hopefully it's not gonna come down. It's a cherry tree. Cherry trees tend to do this kind of leaning thing at some stage. Those are ash trees. One, two, three. This is a cherry tree. That's a pines. Then underneath there's alders and hazel and a plains tree. And here is a laurel. That's a laurel. And right there is elder. In there is elder. So I'm going to be planting baby oak trees in here this year that I've grown from seed. It's one of my plans anyway. Isn't that right, Brindle? You good girl. You found a stick. You clever girl. Yes. Yes. Oh, you're so clever with your stick. Yeah. This is the Hedgehog Hotel, by the way. You can see that's a pathway in there. It goes down. I don't know if you can see all the way in. Maybe not with the video. Anyway, there's different pathways in, which means there's different families living here. There's another pathway. You can kind of see it's well, well walked kind of corridor in the sense that it's lots of animals are using it. Okay. Well, this is looking good. I'm very pleased with the work the sheep are doing.